this is happening. And I just called 911 and nobody's answering. Um, yeah, so this is a horrible brush fire right here. Um, I'm gonna try to call 911 again. So this roof trip was fire, literally. Um, so yeah, as soon as I pulled up here, the fire department showed up. So they probably weren't answering because there's probably a number of us trying to get through to let everybody know, but um, it looked like it was contained. I'll be driving back by there again. As a matter of fact, no, I'll just drive you back by too and show you. But before we do that, let me show you the bags that I got that are fire. They're really, really cool. I love them. Um, this is an Elliot Luca leather bucket bag. It's ivory with a gold acid wash. Super lightweight. And then look at all the braiding detail on the front. Like little, like little knot braids. And um, I love the way the strap has the chain detail on one side. Nice wide strap. It's cinched at the bottom. So it's a really roomy little booger. Uh, these do cinch in with little uh, silver cinches on the sides. And then the chain on the side is gold and silver. So it's got the cute little tassels. I tried it on in the store. It's really cute. I'm loving this one. I would keep this one for myself. This is a me kind of bag. Then um, it also, let me take out the price. Opens up nice and wide. Brand new on the inside. The whole thing looks brand new, actually. Look how wide it opens up. Uh, it says Elliot Luca right here as well. On a little silver plate. It's got a zipper pocket with hot pink interior. And then it also has a couple elastic pockets. So what I see in here is a seven. Now, if you're a TJ Maxx buyer, uh, Marshalls, I believe, they will mark their bags with a number. So if people pull the tags off, they'll know what to charge. And this was more than likely a $70 bag. So I remember when I used to do all my vlogs there, all the bags had those little stickers in it. And those were the price prices for people who tried to finagle saying, hey, there's no price, how much is this? And then they would just look at the little sticker. Okay, so that's the Elliot Luca. Oh, I might as well show this since it's sitting right here on the top. I got Randy this really nice, like a flannel style jacket. I thought there was something in the pocket. Um, just a really nice flannel jacket for writing. And it was $17.50. I just showed you since it's right there on the top. Then we have this darling little um, Cole Haan in black leather. Look at this little hobo, it's so pretty. So it's a black leather hobo and it has the stitching on the strap. It goes all the way around the whole strap. It has little cinch side pockets with the stitching that goes around the pocket. This too seems to be in brand new condition. It's got a zipper top closure, a leather phone pocket, and a zipper pocket on the inside. Super clean, inside and out. Seems to be brand new condition, just like the Elliot Luca. Nice zipper pull. And it's just adorable. I love the way the little detailing on the strap is pretty okay so this is Cole I believe it's Cole Han, right yes Cole Han. and it's like a smooth glove leather really soft this is really nice because I know I have a lot of ladies that love color block and this is a really, really nice Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein is pricey, you guys. Um, so it's the black and like a chocolate milk chocolate brown color block with the nice rolled leather handles. It's got the Calvin Klein lock on the front for decoration. 
This is a snap pocket to fit lots of your things in. Then you have the exact same pocket on the back. And then you have your crossbody strap that's adjustable. This bag is genuine leather, pebbled leather. I'll show you up close so you can see how pretty the leather is. Okay, zipper top. And the inside has two open pockets for their leather line and the zipper pocket. And this bag is indeed Calvin Klein. Also has feet on the bottom. And is in super great condition. Right. Then I have for you. This Michael Kors in a really, really pretty smooth leather. Here's the little charm on it. Here's the little tote handles. And then this zipper on front is a usable pocket to put your cell phone in or your quick grab items. Kind of cool how it's a uh, up and down vertical zipper. It says Michael Kors. And then you also have these two zippers on the side that give you more room should you need to open your bag that goes very large. That's a pocket and then that's a zipper. And then on the back other side is two more pockets. And there's just a little bit of wear right here where it rubs against your uh, pants, your shirt, whatever. Just a little bit right there. And gold hardware, gold toned hardware. All the zippers say Michael Kors. Keep the zippers up, keep them down, however you like. But it's, uh, this to me feels like a lamb leather. It's very, very soft and very lightweight. And then this one, now I have never ever seen this Dooney and Burke before. It's gorgeous, all leather. Let me try to get this one together for you here. So this is a Dooney and Burke tote and it's the most gorgeous soft leather and it is a big one you guys so of course i'll get it home and stuff it and then get it all in shape and everything but look how the straps have a buckle and a buckle so you can actually adjust them to make the straps longer or shorter can you guys see where they pull where you can adjust them like that or pull this one and adjust it. You can either have the buckle detail on the outside or not. It's got the Dean Amberg King charm. And then a zip top closure. The straps on it are an ostrich look leather. Look how big this is. It's huge. Look at all that room you have. That's a pocket and then that's a pocket. And then there's more over here. And then here is the number. I'm gonna look this up. I'm very curious to see which purse this is. It's so pretty. And then the number's on the back, but it's a little faded. And the leather on this is beautiful. I'll show you the leather. Anything I could stuff it with? No, not at the moment. I could use Randy's jacket, maybe. Nah, I don't want to do that. But it's such a pretty tote. And I just love the buckle detail on it. Feet on the bottom. Oh, it's got the key lanyard in it. can't wait to see what this looks like when it's all stuffed full of goodies and things. Really cute. Okay, so that's the Dooney and Burke. 
and then all right so that's it if you, anybody's interested in any of these items they'll all be listed below with the prices how to ship um all that good stuff i've been getting questions even though i tell everybody where my items are listed that they're below this video in the description box i'm still getting people questioning saying they don't see the items if it's a video that's in the past um, and you click and you don't see anything at all that's because i've sold out of everything but otherwise you will still see what's available underneath each video okay so let's go ahead and take you by i'll drive you by and we'll see if that fire is put out i'm sure it is because there's no more smoke and it was just right over there so let's go see what's going on over there okay so we just left the um store and the fire was right see where the green light is to the right where the cones are all that little oh yeah they got that out not a problem right over there yep we're good fire's out California's not burning down thank goodness all right guys have a super great rest of your day and I'll see you on tomorrow's video bye guys